All right, all right. So I'll do a soapbox. I will say, I just got home. I'm super, 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 super tired. I saw my shoes on, actually. Yeah. Look at me. So, yesterday, I was up until 4.45 in the morning. Hmm. Working. And I just walked in the door. Look, I still have my jewelry on. Okay? I still have my eye watch on. See? 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 I still have my sneakers on. See? 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 Yeah. So I don't want to hear about all you guys complaining about long hours because, uh, yeah, I have no sympathy for you. As my dad used to say to me back in the day, he'd be like, hey, if you want some sympathy, you can look in the dictionary between shit and syphilis and that's where you'll find it. Mm. It truly is there and that's not very nice, but mm, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyways, I figured I'd, you know, do my little soapbox thing. I actually did want to talk to you guys about something that was pretty like it's pretty serious to me anyway um but i'm gonna start it off with like as far as like people driving out there and like the rules of the road okay so texting and driving i've been getting a lot of responses back on text messages when we send our text messages out to our patients and stuff like that like an automated response stating like hey i'm driving and i'll get back to you some other time which is super cool because you know I mean, you shouldn't be texting and driving. It can seriously wait. I swear it can wait. I swear there's nothing that's going to happen in 20 minutes of you driving or whatever it is that's, um, you know, that's going to make it or break you, okay? So, anyways, I th there's a couple rules to the road, okay, guys? Because I've been driving since I was about 14 years old. Don't ask me any questions about that. I'm not going to answer any. Um, but I was, I have been driving since I was 14 years old. So I am a very good driver. No offense to all you women out there because I am all about woman empowerment. But a lot of females cannot drive. They just can't. I don't know why. Just not a skill that, you know, there's a certain set of skills that females have. But there are some females that can, but a lot cannot for some odd reason. Um, so anyways, rules of the road, okay? Rule number one. Do not tailgate people, okay? Back in the day when I was stupid, I used to like brake check people until I realized that, oh shit, if they hit the back of my car, yeah, that's not gonna be good. I, and then I'm gonna have to worry about all these issues with the back of the car and all this other fun stuff. So don't ride people's asses. It's annoying, okay? Number one. Number two, okay? Rules, yes, rules. I'm coming with the rules. Happy birthday, Rodney. So anyways, Rule number two, okay? Put on your damn turning signal, please. They, they made them for a reason. So, you know, when you come over, you can put it on and then people know where you're going, you know, so they don't have to guess. Rule number three, the left lane is for the fast line, like the fast drivers, right? The right lane is for the slow drivers. So if you're just cruising on a Sunday or whatever, get your ass in the right lane, okay? If you are in a, you know, race to get somewhere, then go into the left lane. The left lane has my name on it because I'm a fast driver. I can't help it. I'm always in a rush to get somewhere. Justin, I'm sorry. I'm in a rush to get somewhere all the time. I am on a time schedule at all times. Like, literally have time for nothing, okay? So, just, just please leave the left lane open for the people that, like, actually want to drive. And then don't get upset when people, like, pass you, okay? So... By my house, there's a light at the house, and by that light, there's two lanes that, at that light, and it goes and it merges into one that's, like, by the neighborhood, right? And, of course, you don't want to piss off everybody in the neighborhood, right? Because then everybody's like, oh, it's that one girl that's driving that one car, and she's like, cutting everybody off, because this is why I don't drive the Titan Mobiles, because... They'd be getting calls left and right, like, hey, something's wrong with your peoples that are driving the, you know, the Corvette, the Hummer, whatever. So I let, you know, the more responsible driver, John, drive the Corvette. And, you know, he can drive the wrap vehicles all day. Me, not so much. I'm staying in the incognito vehicles, okay? So anyways, there's this light, and you can get up to the light. When you go up to the light, you know, I mean, I don't want to, I, listen, I just told you I've been up till 4.45 in the morning. I went to sleep, Okay. Got up at like 8.30, okay? I got to sleep in, yay, okay? And I just got home at 9.30. I do not want to drive behind somebody 
on one way street to my neighborhood going 10 miles per hour. So don't be upset when people want to pass you. Just let them go. Don't be upset. Seriously. But, okay, just, just, these are the simple rules of driving that like, I just don't understand why people don't get slamming brakes at a, like a yellow light. Like it's, it, this is how people, you know, this is how people get in car accidents. But guys, seriously, on a serious note, it is so important that you guys don't text and drive. And I'm sure like you guys have heard this over and over and over and over again. We went to the fair yesterday with Peter and I am stressed out, Justin. Okay. I'm always stressed out. I'm extra stressed out right now. I've got a lot going on, um, as the usual, but like, just don't text and drive. It's it, just, just don't. It's so freaking dangerous. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm going to tell you a story, and it's a super mess up story, okay? But I'll share it with you guys because, I mean, I don't care. I'm, I'm very real. I'm straightforward. I'll tell you guys whatever because it's the same thing I would tell you if I met you in person, right? So, um, anyways... There, we went to the fair. We have some good friends of ours, um, and they put on this show at the fair. It's, uh, you know, our good friends, Kevin Ridgway and Kristen. And, um, you know, it's super, super cool that they put on these shows. Anyways, long story short, two years ago, they were in this huge accident with the 17-year-old girl that was driving on her phone, totaled it out. I mean, Kevin was in ICU in a coma for like six to eight weeks, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's just insane. Um, but I mean, it's a big deal. And the reason it's a big deal to me specifically, I mean, my case wasn't that bad, but my story is super, super messed up. So, but it did. Okay. One door closes and another one opens, you know, when bad things happen, you don't really think that way, but you know, it, it's true. You know, my wonderful, positive husband, John, he tells me all this fun stuff. And then I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. You're, you're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just trying to make me feel good, but he's right. That's fine. I'll give it to him. So anyways, long story short, um, before we opened Titan, okay, I was working for a doctor's office, a private doctor's office. Now, in that private doctor's office, there was a day I would go to lunch, right? I had a Cadillac at the time, okay? And so I go, I get in my car, I pull out, and I'm in a parking lot, okay? A parking lot. Now, this was... This was seven years ago. I want to say it was about seven years ago. So anyways, I'm in a parking lot on my lunch break. Lunch break's about 45 minutes to an hour. I, you know, hurry, hurry, hurry. I wasn't in a hurry. But <sighs> there was a guy that was in a, another car or whatever. Happened to be a doctor. Okay. He was in the rush to the hospital because he was on call. Um, so he decided that he was not only going to go 55 miles per hour in a parking lot. And I am so not even exaggerating when I tell you that. He literally was going like 50, okay? So when I, this guy was such an idiot, by the way. So he's going 50 in the parking lot. Long story short, I pull out. I'm backing up, you know? I'm about halfway out of my parking spot. He's going 50 miles per hour. Boom, totals my Cadillac in a parking lot, which all the cops that showed up to the site First of all, they took forever to show up to the site because they were like, there's no way that there's a total car in a parking lot. I mean, it's got to be a fender bender because it's a parking lot, right? No, that's not what happened. So, total my Cadillac, half my car was on the other side of the parking lot, okay? And it was all because he was in a rush to the hospital, he was on call, and he looked down at his, you know, beeper phone, whatever it was at the time, and he was going 50 miles per hour in a parking lot. And it was like... I've never been in a car accident before this particular car accident of mine. And it was horrible, okay, because I dislocated my shoulder, had a partial dislocation in my jaw. My car was totaled. On top of everything else that I had all these injuries, and, you know, I'm a soldier, so I'm going to soldier through it regardless. I mean, you really don't know what you have until you don't have it. Like, you can't shave your legs, can't wash your hair, can't eat anything because you can't open your mouth all the way. I mean, it was horrible. I mean, we were thinking about putting some wires in my mouth and it was just, it, w it was really bad, okay? Here's the shitty part about this whole story. And there's a good part and a shitty part. Shitty part. The doctor that was driving in that parking lot was friends with the doctors that I was working for, okay? So, of course, that doctor wants these doctors to have my doctor 
clear me 110% to come back to work. Now, obviously, they were clearing me. He wanted to get that in writing somehow, so that way he could use that in his case. But my doctor wouldn't clear me. It was because my arm was in a freaking sling and I couldn't open my mouth. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I had a legitimate reason to not be cleared to go back to work for 100%. He's like, listen, you, you're not, you just can't go back to work. So they wouldn't let me come back to work. And in an email wrote me up, like, we're not going to allow you to come back to work until you're 110% cleared in writing, da, 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 da. I'm like, okay, so what do I do now? I have no job, technically. I have no job to pay my bills. I'm like, this asshole totals my freaking Cadillac. I'm like, I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm totally jacked. John has to shave my legs and wash my hair. Nobody wants to, someone to shave their legs and wash their hair. I mean, what the hell? Thank you, John, but damn, you don't want that. You feel like enabled. It's like the worst feeling in the world. So anyways, um, I, I, they wouldn't allow me to come back to work. So this guy, we come to find out that he had limited liability insurance, I guess. Can I help you? I'm not doing this right now. Peter's in the hallway with his pants down. Anyways, so, um, anyways, so yeah, he actually um, had limited liability insurance. So nothing was covered. Um, luckily, I had really, really good um, insurance at the time, health insurance anyway. So I was able to get some of this stuff covered at the hospital. And at the time, guys, me and John weren't like, we didn't have money. I mean, seriously, we didn't have money. I mean, I won't go into details, but I mean, we didn't have the money like that, you know? So like, I didn't have the money to pay these things and I didn't have a job at the time because they wouldn't let me come back to work to come work for the money to pay for my shit. So anyways, it was like devastating, okay? And I'm like, I can't go back to work and I'm, I am a workaholic. I like to work. I like to feel like I have done something for the day. Like I am accomplished. Like I have accomplished something awesome today. That I have to have that feeling at the end of every day or I feel like I haven't done anything with myself. So anyways, again, long story short, but this is how we started Titan, okay? So we did, so I was hanging out with John all the time, all day, every day, because I mean, what else am I gonna do, right? Happened to stumble across the Titan thing. And this just so happened at the same exact time. Okay. So I was out of work. Just so happened to stumble across this idea that we wanted to do. I had the medical side. John had, you know, all the rest of the portions that put this whole damn thing together. And we ended up putting Titan together at that time. But I mean, it was devastating at the time. But if that didn't happen, right, would we have Titan today? Because I wasn't, I wouldn't have been out of work, which means that I wouldn't have had the time to dedicate to Titan to create all these wonderful things and processes that we came up with. I wouldn't have, we'd, I don't even know if we would have stumbled across it. So, I mean, listen, everything happens for a reason. That obviously was meant to happen, even though it was absolutely horrific, because it led for, it led into us opening Titan. Okay. So, but at the end of the day, guys, I mean, Guys, it was a guy who was on his phone and not paying attention, okay? And not but two years later, I'm sitting on McMullen Booth with John that's sleeping in the car, and another guy that's in a truck just, well, I'm at a dead stop. I ain't got nowhere to go. So just at a dead stop, I'm McMullen. Guys on his cell phone, and they openly admit that they're on their cell phones. I can, I can appreciate their, your, like, your honesty, but for God's sakes, I mean, get off your freaking phones. Like, Stop. We are not in bumper cars. Like we're not in bumper cars. If we were in bumper cars, maybe it'd work, but it doesn't work because we're not in bumper cars. Okay. So anyways, sitting at a dead stop, boom, guy comes like flying, doing 55, 60 miles per hour. Luckily, John was sleeping. <laughs> he thought it was my fault. I'm like, dude, I'm sitting here. I have not went anywhere and there's nowhere for me to go. So tough shit. I don't have to tell you. He was the lucky one though, because he was sleeping. And apparently, because I saw it coming in the rearview mirror, you know, obviously, I saw a car come in and I'm like, okay, I need to brace myself so I don't slam my face into the windshield. And of course, if you brace yourself, apparently it's worse. So your whole body just braces it like this. John, poor John, that is a horrible way to wake up from a nap. <laughs> so he's sleeping in the passenger seat and boom. <laughs> and he's like, you know, just because he was sleeping, his whole body just kind of like flew with the, you know with the impact which sucked so this guy ended up getting in his car he's like oh my god are you guys okay this is not blah blah another you know injury on top of injury on top of injury so 
all I'm getting at guys is like, I get it. Like it's a new day and age and people are on their phones and everybody thinks shit's important and Facebook's so freaking important. You got to be on it all the damn time. Guys, it can literally wait. I promise it can wait. Like I, we are, if we were in bumper cars, it'd be a different story, but we're not in bumper cars. And it is enraging to people like me. Okay. That are driving on the road and I am petrified for somebody that's on their phone to either A, hit my car, or B, do something where it actually results into an injury, okay? But um, yeah, because I mean, I, I do have road rage. So if somebody hit my car, it may not be a good thing that they hit my car because I don't know how I would react to that or what I would do because I kind of do one of the blackout moments and uh, I don't know what happened, okay? So guys, just stay off your freaking phones. It's really not that important. I mean, and just follow the rules of the road. I told you the rules. Don't tell gay people. I finally learned how to put on my hazards for two seconds. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I do it. So they'll back off. Uh, but I put the hazards on and they back off real quick. Um, or, you know, just, you know, just, just speed up, you know, just get out of everybody's way. But I mean, seriously, guys, come on. Yeah, I'm telling you, Tanisha, I'm telling you, it's so messed up. And people don't realize, like, what can happen until they're in that situation. And I've been in that situation twice. And I've had a lot of friends in that situation. So I'm just making, like, a public service announcement to just, just stay off your phone. It's so annoying. Like, I, please. It's not that important. I pinky promise you. Pinky promise. <sighs> I'm too tired to actually be riled up about this right now, but if you guys caught me on a day where I wasn't like incredibly exhausted from being up for so many hours working and staring at a computer screen, I would definitely be a little bit more enraged just because of the fact that I've been through this shit and it's super, super irritating to have people on their phones and driving. And every time you look around to the person that was driving in the lane next to you that was like swerving in your lane and you turn and you look and you're like, damn, what are you doing? They're on their phone. Hmm. Fun. So none of you guys are that talented to be on your phone and drive. So just stay off your freaking phones, okay? So that's my finished night statement of the phones. Just don't text and drive. Don't Facebook and drive. Don't Instagram and drive. It's not safe. It's stupid. And most people, mm, most people can't drive to begin with, okay? So just, just focus on what you need to do. And, and it can wait till you get to the light. It takes two seconds. Just check your phone when you get to the light. You know, you're sitting at a light. You check it, okay? Anyways, um, I think I'm going to try to get some sleep tonight. I'm going to attempt to get some sleep even though I have use a CB. What's a CB? I don't know what the CB is. You'll have to tell me what that is, Eric. You'll have to text me since all this high technology. I don't, I don't know. Is that callback? Like use a callback feature? <laughs> I know that's not what it means, but I don't know what CB stands for. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, guys, I still have my freaking shoes on, okay? I really just, you know, I just want to hop on here. I want to say hello to everybody. Let everybody know what's going on. I have a very, very long week ahead of me. So I want to hop on here, say what's up to you guys, and let you guys know that it's not safe to be on your phone and to drive because it's just not good. What's up? How are you? <sighs> Anyways, I'm out of here. It was good talking to all you peoples. Please take my advice. I promise you won't go wrong with it. Um, but I'll talk to you guys soon. And see ya.